Hey guys, Andrew Darlington with Veritas Insurance here. One of the questions that I get a lot is I'm a general contractor. I don't have any employees. Why do I have to carry workers comp coverage or do I have to carry workers comp coverage? We're going to explore that in just a second. Okay, so you're a general contractor, you have no employees, you're subbing out 100% of the work. The question is, why do you have to carry workers comp? And it's a very good question. You're sitting there going, well, why do I need to carry workers comp? Um, you may say, I'm only going to hire insured subcontractors, so I, I'm okay. Well, here's the, the situation you get into. One, the law says you have to. So that, that that's the first point. You can get away from that by filing the exemption form, but the law does say that if you are a contractor and you are hiring anyone, whether as an employee or a subcontractor, you are required to carry workers' comp. Now, you can get the exemption form, and then you're going to be okay from a fine standpoint. But the situation that you run into is, do your subs actually have coverage uh, for workers' comp? Because the way that the law in Tennessee works right now is if you hire someone to do work for you, whether they're an independent contractor or a sub, um, a casual labor, whatever you want to call them, if you have someone doing work for you, okay, and you pay them, and maybe even if you don't pay them, but if you pay them, you are responsible for workers' comp for that person. If they have workers' comp, then you're okay because that workers' comp is going to protect them. But if they don't, you're going to get dinged. So if you hire a sub, they don't have workers' comp, you don't know about it, you actually hire them before that, they don't give you a certificate, you show up, they bring it to the job, that's one. Number two, they their policy could cancel, um, and you wouldn't know about it. That's uh, one of the things that we have another blog on about certificates and how worthless they are. Number three, what if you hire, uh, what if you, uh, one afternoon you decide to get your uh, nephew or your cousin or someone to come do, or a friend from church to come do a little bit of work with you on the job site? Those are workers' comp claims if they get injured. It's not necessarily that that person would do anything to hurt you, but their family might, their mom might, their aunt might. Someone could, if they get really injured, sue you on behalf of them and the state also would require that you pay their medical bills so you're responsible for um their lost wages their medical bills pain and suffering all those things well not pain and suffering because workers comp doesn't allow that but anything that the workers comp would allow you would require that you pay you'd have to pay out of your pocket the cool thing is that in the state of tennessee with most insurance companies is that you would have if you're a gc and you're doing residential building we'll assume then you will have to pay premium at the start of the year of thousand bucks, 1200 um, ish for that workers comp. But at the end of the year, if you have no payroll at all and everybody insured, you'll get almost all of it back. You'll probably end up with 300 bucks, 300 bucks for peace of mind. I would do it all day long as an insurance agent. I can tell you, there are a lot of people out there that are giving fake certificates of insurance. Again, got a blog on that in a video. Look at that it'll open your eyes a little bit as well. And there's also some other advantages for them having workers comp as far as that goes. So the answer is if you're a GC, no employees, yes, get workers comp, protect yourself, get the, get the waiver as well. So it didn't cost you anything, but you could cover yourself if you wanted to. Um, if you have questions about this stuff, call us back at 423-292-4142. Happy to help. Email us, help at veritasrm.com. You can like, comment, uh, share this with your friends. Uh, as well, we'd, we'd appreciate that. Uh, on our website at veritasrm.com, we have a chat uh, feature. You can chat with us, ask us questions there as well. Happy to do anything we can to help you out. We do help with home auto business, workers' comp, general liability, those types of things as well. So if you're in a situation where you like to look at it, some options, give us a call. We'd be honored to be able to talk to you. Until next time, thanks and God bless.